All right, Jean Kuei is back, so obviously we got to play some Jean Kuei, right? He's been disabled for like I think a month now. Uh, there was some bug with his three that like crashed the game or something. Also, am I the only one? I was looking at the skin in the lobby. Is am I the only one that has never noticed this shoulder pad on the skin? That's new. That's got to be new. I would have noticed that. I don't know why they would update the skin, but that's kind of weird. It's new. Either way, if I didn't say already or if you didn't read the title, we are doing auto attack Jean Kuei. Which is the funnest way to play this man. And the reason for that is that his little ghosty goo counts as an extra auto attack. And it can apply telekines for full damage. Everything else it applies half damage. So Hunter's Blessing works on it. But again, half damage. So it's not amazing. But it's the funnest way to play this character. Alright, Jean Kuei is so much fun. I always tell people when who is some of the safest characters in Duel. I always say Jean Kuei. Like, Jean Kuei does... Not really have that many bad matchups, to be honest. Almost every matchup you load into with Jean Kuei is just like, yep, this is winnable. Like, I mean, here we are, Kukokan versus Jean Kuei. Yep, this is winnable. I can, whenever he ults, I can ult and then pop Aegis. My ult will keep going. Because Aegis does not cancel my ultimate. Unless they change that, which I highly doubt. That's been the game forever. Let me do some damage here. Might have to Aegis just for the, the damage from that. Oh, 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 okay, that was good, that was good. That was a good shell by him. Good shell, but that doesn't mean you win the game. You win the game there. Hmm. Yeah, once once he uh, he hit me with that slow, the first slow, or was it the second slow? One of those slows, I kind of knew I was done for, and then he popped shell, and I was like, yeah, this is going to be hard. I knew I had to hit every auto, and unfortunately, it, it did not matter. I might have let go of my base attack button just for a tiny bit to try and get some to try and juke a little bit, but that was probably not worth it as I would have killed him had I not done that. Other way, we're still committing to this build, all right? Still still full on commitment. Auto attack. I don't know what it is about going auto attack on Ooh, that's a nice tornado. Auto attack on character. Oh, also, I do not have Aegis, I need backup. But auto attack on mages, I don't know why, it's just fun. <laughs> Especially mages that were not meant to go auto attack. It's just fun to me, I don't know. I went auto attack ISIS the other day, had a blast. I lost the game, but hey. Oh! Should be fine. We're good, we're good. Just need to back up. I'm gonna alt so I don't get slowed. Alright, we don't kill him. I probably could have, but it's more important that we just don't die there. Is he going for this? Ooh. If he hits his tornado here, we die. But I'm gonna bet that he does not. Okay, there we go. Ooh, he is just a little bit too fast for us. A little bit too fast, that's okay. We did hit our one, but... Oh, he's coming back. He wants some more. I'll give you some more. There we go. Did not give him enough time to sneeze on us. All right, I'm back. Well, no, we can take this. We can take this. Uh, I'm going to start off with my one. Auto attack two. The most... The way you do more damage with Shankwe is to use your two first, then your one. But eh, it doesn't matter too much. I only do that when I'm at full health anyways. Because then you don't need the heal, you know? <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Probably going to go pen boots because we're relying on our auto attacks more than our... More than our cooldowns here. But yeah, I hope everyone's having some uh, happy holidays. We're not using a Christmas skin, but we're using a... Can you count this as a nightmare before Christmas skin? Because it's kind of like the boogeyman. So, eh, I guess it works. <laughs> Either way, I hope you all have happy holidays. You know, share something that uh, you're looking forward to this coming month. Ooh, I thought that was down. That's the only reason I ulted. Whoops. Mistake on my part. It should be fine, though. All right, let's back up. Probably got to use Aegis here, unfortunately. Otherwise, that will kill us. Kokulkan did get nerfed. I did not read the specifics on his nerf, but this seems fine. Nice. Nice, dude. His three didn't go off either. He missed an entire minion wave on that. <clears throat> Risky play, but, you know... Didn't pay off for him. 
we're gonna wait we're gonna wait out the gold here i did not read the details on kokokin nerf i mean i probably did when the pts came out and then i just forgot about it that's what always happens to me i read the, everything in the pts and i'm like ooh, and then patch drops and i forget it all I did see that Fafner's Wonderland came back though. That was, that's an awesome adventure. To anyone that missed out on that adventure the first time it dropped, go play it, that is so much fun. I think Jingtian's Mountain was slightly better, but Fafner's Wonderland is like, Fafner's Wonderland, Jingtian's Mountain, I think those are some of the best adventures. They're just like different enough from Smite that, you know, it's a nice challenge, but they they still have them the whole building and like the gods kits, you know, it's not like they're racing <laughs> smite smite racer rumble or whatever By the way the racing rumble was a blast only if you went backwards all I'm saying Okay, we need to not get hit by that I have no idea how that didn't hit me because my large chonky hitbox was completely inside of that Oh, I got to show the cool thing with the skin hold up. They better have not fixed it. They better have not fixed it We're gonna see right now if they fixed it so what you do is you wave, and then you get on your broom, and then you, yeah, so now the broom's gone. So you can wave again to bring it back. But this skin has a special emote where you can ride on the broom, right? But when you clap, it disappears. So if you clap and then use your special emote, it disappears. I have no broom, it's gone. I remember I did a auto attack Jean Quay video before on this channel, but uh, I actually removed it because there's a rendering error. And it just kind of sucked, and I was like, all right, I'm not dealing with this right now. So, here we are showing this once more. Ooh, you had that up again, huh? I just wanted to scare him. That did not work at all, but whatever. Auto attacks, please. Let me secure this. All right, he missed his tornado, his best ability. <clears throat> I hate haste and ring, but I think haste and ring would be pretty nice here. To keep up with his uh his movement speed. Hunter's Blessing is about to evolve here. Now that Hunter's Blessing is evolved, our auto attacks are gonna do so much more damage. Ooh, juke. Can I just straight up kill him here? And then Aegis? I don't need Aegis. Ooh, 76 health. Pretty close. Pretty close. You're fine, Jonquay, you're fine. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm glad I'm glad Jonquay's back in the game. I, so many, you know, he's a fun character to play. The only time I hate playing against Jonquay, or I hate Jonquay in general, is when I'm playing a guardian and or an assassin against him, because that is tough. <clears throat> Alright. Let's uh let's get shoguns, yeah. I kinda wanna upgrade its sprint or Genji's. I want Genji's for the ridiculous, uh, I mean, I'm just, Genji's, what the heck? Frenzy. Frenzy for the ridiculous attack speed. You know, one thing I'm excited about for season seven is, you know, every season they release new items. I wonder what the new items are going to be. Because um, there's a, there's some things in Smite that just do not have that many options. One of them is attack speed on magical characters. Um, there's a lot more options than there used to be, but... You know, they, they have to be careful about introducing those types of items because one reason why they're balanced is because there's not that many options, you know? Talakines is balanced because you can't... If you go max attack speed, you are forced into this really bad, awkward build, you know? But if they introduce more attack speed items, that indirectly buffs Talakines, you know? So they always have to be careful with that kind of thing. Which reminds me, we should probably get Talakines next item. Getting demonic before he gets defense uh, might sound stupid, but it's 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 basically he's gonna get defense in duel. You get defense. You don't just skip defense. And if you do skip defense, getting the demonic is not gonna hurt me because it gives so much attack speed and good stats, and he's just gonna die instantly anyways. I'm going for it. Going for it. Oh, should prop should have used my frenzy. Okay, I'm gonna heal here because he's around that corner. <clears throat> All right, this is it. Me and you, Kukulkin. Me and you. Both have the same exact move of speed. <clears throat> I do have this frenzy ready. Go, 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 go. That's not that much attack speed, but hey, I did a lot of damage. I'm about it. 
Is he staying? Ooh, he is staying. But I'm gonna heal all my health. Not having Bancrofts on Jean-Claude is weird. Because whenever I'm trying for reels for him, I always go Bancrofts. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. Do you have your slow immunity? Oh, good stuff. That's actually some good stuff. I uh, I didn't see the targeter. I was I had my my Aegis ready, but I thought I actually went past it. I don't know. My eyes my eyes need to be checked, obviously, because I got hit by that <laughs> smack dead in the center. Ooh, do we want spear though? No, we need to commit to the attack speed build. Commit. <clears throat> I will get spear the mages if he goes double defense, which I don't think he's going to do. Also, what's up with this? Why is his icon grayed out? Is he alive or is he not? I think the new patch is just a little buggy. It always is, but it'll it'll come around. You go when you're ready, Smite. It's like Patrick with his pet rock. You go when you're ready. <clears throat> oh, he ulted the wave, not me. You sly, sly little bugger. I'm going to take this tower with or without you, so what's it going to be? What's it going to be? <clears throat> Looks like we're going to take it without him. Oh no, he stayed! Oh no, he was over the wall! I actually thought he backed 100%. That's unfortunate that I was in that. That was kind of stupid to me. That was kind of stupid to me, not gonna lie. <clears throat> so I think what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to just play a little PvE and take some buffs because he is he is hugging that tower hard. He's brought his tent and everything. He's camped out. I don't blame him because he's against John Quay, but like, come on, man. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about my voice. Oh, I just have to keep coughing. I don't know. I really hope I'm not getting sick. This would be the worst time to get sick. The absolute worst time. This tornado didn't even do that much damage to me. It was just the tower. Watch me do the same thing. Not learn my lesson. You over the wall? No, you are not. I'll tell you what, you are good at clearing that wave, dude. You're dead! You're done! I have frenzy! <clears throat> I got scared there a little bit because I got slowed inside the tower, but we're fine. How much are my autos doing? I can't even read this menu. This menu makes no sense to me. Give me that health. I have two archers. I'll do like a fourth of this health. A little bit under a fourth. Get red buff. Go take our blue buff for some more XP and gold. A good tip for when you're starting duel, and I know I'm not doing this, but that's because I'm just chilling. I'm not going full sweat, but uh, taking your blue buff on timer is real a lot of farm, you know? Blue buff is like, it's like what? Almost an, the amount of an entire wave? Oh, he stole mine. That little guy. But if you're still if you're taking your blue buff on t on cooldown, right? That is more XP and gold you're getting. Whereas if you are missing it, uh, then that's just XP and gold sitting there that can't respawn. You know, the respawn timer doesn't start until you kill it. So taking buffs when they come up is very important. And like I said, I know I'm not doing it, but I'm kind of just having fun right now. Yeah, Hana, if you were trying full tryhard with Jean Quay, I don't think you would go this build. Although I think Demonic has some merit in a tryhard Jean Quay build, but the rest of it, maybe not. Maybe not. Depends on the matchup. But I got red buff, so what's better, red buff or blue buff? Looks like he's backing. Uh, my Aegis is up. I might pressure a. Also, there's his defense. Uh, might pressure Bull Demon here. Let's see. With Telekines? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is way more damage than I thought it would be. We... This... There is no chance he's gonna take that. Oh my god. That just did 1,700 damage. Dude, you are dead. I want to kill him with almost entirely auto attacks. Can I? No, I can't. His Genjis came up. The Genjis. How much... How much... Oh, no, he surrendered? Alright, whatever. 
I had to use my auto tags on Boldy Bit and on him to see how strong it was. So on him, about 1,000 with Telkines and this a little bit under, maybe about 900 actually, closer, 890-ish. But on Boldy Man, that just got shredded. Ooh, that was fun. I like that. I like games like that. But yeah, uh, make sure you guys, uh, you know, leave a like on all that stuff. You, you guys are on YouTube. You know how it works. I say an outro that everyone tunes out, and it's all the same generic stuff as everything else. But, you know, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good day, and see you guys.